Oke, okay. kalau mau jalan-jalan kita lihat dulu lah liputan rekan kita yang satu ini. Oke. Okay. Penyerangan di San Bernardino hingga yang terbaru penembakan satu keluarga di Ohio menjadi catatan buruk aksi kekerasan ekstrim di Amerika Serikat. Di tahun 2011 saja, lebih dari 50 orang tewas dalam aksi penembakan, hal terburuk dalam dua dekade setelah aksi pengeboman di Oklahoma tahun 1995. Supremasi ras, kebencian terhadap komunitas dan agama serta penolakan terhadap kebijakan pemerintah menjadi motif yang mendominasi aksi kekerasan di sana. Salah satu program pun diluncurkan, Countering Violent Extremism atau melawan kekerasan ekstrim, terutama bagi kalangan muda. Pemerintah federal, institusi hukum, LSM, dan komunitas masyarakat dilibatkan. Fokus utama mereka menyasar pada kaula muda. What we have seen is um, a common denominator, and the common denominator is the sense of belonging. There's a sense of identity that's getting lost in a lot of these kids, um, especially in places where we're sort of immigrant populations. Here in the United States, you know, in Europe, there's a, there's a lack of this understanding of, of identity. And these groups are pushing this ideal that if you join us, we will give you that sense of identity, we will give you a sense of purpose and goal. So again, that's a common denominator, but it's not the same in every aspect around the world. I think a lot of the times it's based on an inconsistent, supportive uh, network around them. Great integration on, in the way that I've seen it is having a sense of community and having a sense of self. You're being placed into another community and having to learn things in you. And if you don't feel supported and you don't feel integrated in any parts that you're contributing, I feel a lot of the times those are vulnerable communities, more so than they are. These are students, with what I do is being able to provide them leadership skills to really advocate for themselves and for their communities, but more than anything, to really recognize what they're going through, the dynamics and displacement that they have within them, and being able to provide personalized supports for them so that they don't have to question if they belong here or not. community in this country is, I don't know. Kekerasan tidak hanya terkait dengan teroris. Di Amerika Serikat, kekerasan oleh anak muda juga masih terjadi. Seiring aktivitas geng kriminal yang tumbuh subur, kemiskinan dan eksistensi diri mendorong anak muda bergabung dengan kelompok kriminal. Dari Washington, Divi Lukmansyah, TV One, mengabarkan.